Greetings, motorsport enthusiasts. Today, we're venturing into the thrilling world of Formula One to explore the remarkable career and achievements of one of the sport's most promising young talents. Join us as we dive into the story of the man poised to make waves with McLaren, Oscar Piastri. Born on April 6, 2001, in Melbourne, Australia, Oscar Piastri is a rising star who has been making headlines in the motorsport world. McLaren's mid-season resurgence has done more than give Lando Norris a car more worthy of his ability. It's allowing rookie Oscar Piastri the first chance to strut his stuff in Formula One. In the three races Piastri drove the heavily upgraded MCL 60 before the summer break he fought for the podium twice and briefly led Max Verstappen in the Belgian Grand Prix sprint race, which he eventually finished in second. Piastri didn't look out of place at all in doing so, especially in the British Grand Prix, where an impeccable performance deserved a third-place finish and only an ill-timed safety car denied him his first podium. It won the attention of those previously less familiar with his game, but really it surprised few who had either worked with him or observed him closely. But impressive podium near misses only scratch the surface of Piastri's potential, which is such that he might just be F1's next megastar in the making. It's little over a year since Piastri burst into the consciousness of many F1 fans for the first time, although it was not off the back of his stellar success in the junior ranks but his high-profile switch from Alpine Junior to McLaren race driver, replacing fan favourite and proven Grand Prix winner Daniel Ricciardo. The car McLaren produced at the start of the season was not one in which Piastri could make a compelling case to the rest of the world. But he has been justifying McLaren's faith from the start, on track and off it. Piastri's attitude and his approach to driving are exemplary. He's a considerate speaker and a calm figure. Everything is meaningful, says race engineer Tom Stallard, who describes him as an interesting personality, calm, but intense. Stallard, who has worked with Jensen Button, Stoffel Van Dorn, Carlos Sainz and Ricciardo at McLaren, continues, it kind of makes sense. If you think, what would the personality of a Formula One driver be if you'd never met any? but I'm not sure I've met that many who I would describe as calm and intense. Piastri's independence and composure were evident from an early age, those close to him say, and have remained a key part of his makeup through his racing career. When Renault picked him up properly in 2020 and he won the Formula 3 title, it was telling that one of his key takeaways from spending the Turkish Grand Prix embedded in its F1 team was the language the drivers used, simple and precise. That worked well for a young man who is happy to be economical with his words. Stallard reckons it's where another key Piastri strength comes from, his adaptability. By being very good at identifying the missed opportunity in a given corner, Piastri gives himself a better chance at then adjusting his driving to get it right the next time, or the time after that. Not all drivers can comprehend what's going on in real time like that. Things happen so quickly on corner entry that it can suddenly be behind you, then the corner's good or bad, and everything else is just a recovery from that and the driver doesn't necessarily know why. Ricciardo experienced that very issue at McLaren. Piastri, by contrast, has always felt his adaptability has been a great weapon. The very best drivers know the value of this trait. In fact, Piastri could be lifting words right from Verstappen's mouth when he says, you can have a certain driving style, but if the car doesn't require that, then it's useless. That's why, even though Piastri has a natural driving style, he reckons it's important he's shown he's able to change it quite quickly.
Like any driver, Piastri has a natural preference with the way he drives. Although it is hard to be precise on what that is, for a few reasons. His rise through the junior ranks meant winning three titles in three very different cars, and this year's McLaren, like many recent McLarens, is challenging to get right. It's also tricky because one way to define a driver's style is by identifying where they are weak, and flipping it. But Piastri has no obvious weaknesses relative to Norris. And, unsurprisingly, Piastri wants to keep a few secrets to himself. But his driving preference seems similar to Norris, who wants to attack the entry and carry good speed through a corner. That's unremarkable in principle, but it requires a fine judgment in the trade-off between the release of the brakes and starting to steer to pull it off, especially when the car is not so forgiving, and Piastri is praised for being able to do this very accurately, like Norris and, to reference him again, like Verstappen at Red Bull. Piastri is also happy to confess to typically being very strong in high-speed corners, and McLaren corroborates this. It was a standout feature of his stellar Belgian Grand Prix weekend, where he was the quicker McLaren driver. More work has been done this year on slower corners, which tallies with that braking, steer trade-off that the McLaren is more sensitive to. It stands to reason Piastri needs a little bit more there than where the car is strongest, especially as in F1. The braking, steering trade-off needs to happen much faster than in junior categories, where a driver has more time in the corner to correct the car's rotation. What this McLaren seems to demand through slower corners, if you take a conventional hairpin as an example, is a specific approach to the entry and exit, making the corner a V shape instead of a U shape. Norris hates this and Piastri doesn't seem to disagree, although he doesn't want to elaborate much on the specifics. The upshot is Piastri gives the impression on and off track of someone years ahead of him. Stallard's phrasing is a neat summary of that. If at the start of the year you'd said he's got five years F1 experience and I've just not seen it, then I wouldn't be completely surprised. There's not been many rookie errors or rookie decisions or things that would spin out a rookie and wouldn't spin out someone more experienced. All of that is why Piastri was already having a quietly impressive rookie season before adding some gloss to it once the car was capable of better results. He's only missing a podium through circumstance and relative to Norris he looks good. McLaren reckons he's lacking about a tenth of a second in qualifying, which is an excellent position for someone six months into their F1 career versus a fifth year who has proven to be one of F1's best drivers. There are obviously still things to improve. Piastri feels his racecraft has been a bit hit and miss so far this season and whenever he has been caught up in incidents, like the first lap setback in Saudi Arabia or even the race-ending collision that looked mostly Carlos Sainz's fault in Belgium, it's been a mark of Piastri's focus that he has tended to identify things he could have done differently to avoid it himself. That should come, because racecraft was a defining feature of Piastri's junior success before he unleashed searing speed for arguably the first time in F2. And the consistency that he has lacked at times this year is also something only experience will buy. While he cites one lap pace as the area where he's been happiest with his improvement so far, it's the races and consistency more than anything that he wants to improve. The remainder of Piastri's rookie season will likely be a mix of strong weekends and quieter ones, qualifying sessions and races where he makes life difficult for Norris and others where Norris's ability and experience put Piastri in the shade. With McLaren, Oscar Piastri's future in Formula One is looking incredibly bright. His story is a testament to the power of determination and talent. In just a short time, Oscar Piastri has established himself as a name to watch in the world of motorsport. As he embarks on this exciting new chapter with McLaren, we can't wait to see what the future holds for this remarkable Australian driver. That concludes our profile of Oscar Piastri, the young talent ready to make his mark with McLaren. Stay tuned for more thrilling updates from the world of motorsport, and be sure to like and subscribe for more exciting content and let us know in the comments which driver profile you'd like to see next. Until next time, see you in the next video.